Hey guys, this is Garis, and welcome back to another episode of Survival Done. We are back here in Satisfactory, and we are continuing our iron operations over there. I've done a lot of preparation off cam again. I am sorry, doing too much preparation off cam, but just feels like I'm going to waste so much time of you guys. Please feel free to let me know what you guys think about it. Should we do it? Should we not do it? Etc. Etc. So I have found an easier way. To get to the top without having our full frames unlocked so we can just use this one and we can get up there no problem also now that I'm thinking about it even if we made this whole line from there all the way over there with a mark 5 it would still kind of be a rigged test to put it that way because of the um, frames that's limiting us actually but uh, it will still be a improvement in or, um, in relation to the normal mark 4 and so on this because that was also recorded with a limiter so yes and then I usually just jump off here so I put let me show you what I did here did I not show this on a previous episode? We did, we did, so just ignore it. Okay, so what have we've done in a previous episode? I, uh, I showed you guys that we have a left and a right. One side is a plate and the other side is um, rods. But the problem is that the factory is only... Um, uh, what do you call it? Not a, or even numbers. There we go. <laughs> it's even numbers of foundations. So metal is actually between these two foundations in place of in the middle of one foundation as those wings are at those ends. So this wing we had to move over from year to year. So half a move over and I've duplicated it but that's at the bottom to the top and we've started with the steel production at the top so <clears throat> let's quickly run over what I did before I switch it on as you can see um, I've put the power so this power goes there that power one up and one higher um, okay so what happens I'll show what's going on behind just now but the iron comes in here the iron ore i just use that one for temporary mode or temporary storage because moving and i use some of these metal or iron sorry to craft plates because i ran out of plates somewhat it's doing all the splits <coughs> so basically it's still the same um, exactly the same as we added before the ore will come in here get split into two wings and we'll go with a 480 belt to um, each side and from there only the 120 per side as we only need like 30 so it's no more needed than what we have here the normal or 60 or sorry not 120 60 or because it only uses 30 per minute so really no need to have any more than the mark one and then <coughs> this one makes 30 ing ingots per minute okay well actually both sides makes 30 ingots per minute but each one just uses a different amount this one uses 15 and makes 15 so this 30 gets split into two and it makes 15 per constructor so we have eight constructors so if 80 times 5 is 120 is it that little we're only producing that little per wing 15 times 8 is 80 yes it's 120 oh wow didn't expect it to be that little but in any case so <clears throat> on this side we're also using um, 30 ore per minute and we're producing 30 ingots as well per minute but with plates it uses 13 ingots and producing 15 so we have a one to one here no split 
also eight stations. That side is four smelting stations and eight um, constructing stations, where this side is eight con um, smelting stations and eight constructing stations. So this side is also 120 per minute. So now let's go up a bit. Oh, I need to connect the power still. Okay, see this power comes up here and oh, I need to connect that power as well. I thought I did the power, so but <laughs> at least we have something to do on cam as well. So I worked a little bit, struggled about with this one. So what I did is I split it to there and it goes back and it powers these two constructors. So it's exact duplicate of what we have at the bottom. Making ingots and making rods. So there's 120 at the bottom, 120 at the top, so it's 240 per minute total. Which I th now I'm thinking we are definitely going to increase. We have to work out how many ore we use. Okay, so I made this like steps, so one goes down, down. Uh, just so that if you fall down. I, well, since we have a jetpack, it doesn't really matter, but oh well. Same with this side. And then at the top, okay, so that's an iron coming in there. So the bottom hole goes to that one. It splits to that floor and this floor, and the front one splits to this floor. Okay, and the top hole, or exit port or whatever you want to call it goes to the top and the coal comes from that side also goes to the top and they all just going into <coughs> splitters so what we're going to do still is do this so i thought let's do this on cam so you guys at least get in some of the construction so this is basically all that i'm doing come on so it's just so that the um, coal comes into the top splits to the two wings and then the bottom one will be iron ore top one will be coal if you check here it takes ore and coal one to one well 45 to 45 and makes 30 ingots so again i think we have eight stations total one two three four one two three four and yeah so we have eight times 45 with, or thir eight times 30 which is also 240 so we're producing 240 um, steel ingots but the thing is this side will be uh, pipes, I believe, yes. We made this pipes. Ooh, you know what? It takes 15. We can split this. Wait a minute. It produces 30 per minute. <coughs> Excuse me. And so this take, um, uses 30 or produces 30 per minute. So we can also split this. Huh. Okay, so we can do that in a sec. Let's quickly sort out the power at the bottom while we break this down. And we need to go connect the copper of coal as well. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So let's split it. Come on, why don't you pick up? Okay, well, I'm just going to put you there. Let's see if it's correct. Looks correct. There and here. Okay. <clears throat> now we need constructors. Well, at least. If we have, where's the constructor? So I believe that's a correct side. Let's see. 
Ah, that's correct. Aha. So this might work out properly. Okay, so then taking you and we're putting you here and you split to them. That works out perfectly. Now this is also um, one side produces 15, so it's 120 pipes and 120 bars. I believe a bar is also one of the bars. Uh, steel beams. Let's see, it produces 10 beams. Okay, 10 times 8, so that is only 80 beams. We'll definitely have to have to increase a beam production. Wonder. I'm just wondering, can't we set up another one right here? Might be <coughs> possible. Let's see. Okay, we need to put constructors. At least that's the easy part. <laughs> Because we just snap them together. Nothing, nothing to it. Okay, that's one and two. For you, I believe that's correct. Yep. No problem. And there we go. So one side done. I'm just thinking maybe we should make this side six and this side ten. Then it's 100 a side, 6 times 15 is 19. Because we really need more beams than pipes at the moment. <clears throat> Maybe we should go look into the alternate recipe of... Um, encased beams. Because that's quite a lot. Or what we can do, do we can just duplicate this. We can maybe make this floor fully beams and then just duplicate it and maybe make a a much smaller one because then it's 160 beams. But we're in any case going to use aluminum. So we're not going to use in case plates or uh, in case beams anymore so hmm, maybe 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 all the maybes <clears throat> let's see on there that's a correct spot dip looks like it okay we can at least go over one more and maybe take that one and stand in it is 100. Uh, I hate it that it's different amounts. It really irks me. Oops, that's too close. Structure on that line. Let's see if this is correct. Looks like it. Oh, can't afford. Okay, no problem. We have a solution for that. <laughs> Actually, quite easy solution. Almost done, guys. 
try to do something at least on cam. Can't let you guys miss out on all the action. Oh yeah, we're only going, going to fit one. So we'll have to duplicate to the top. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's quickly make a few more of these. So, quick and easy. Let's see, can we not already make plates? Nope. So I say quick and easy, but it does take a bit of time. Come on, come on, come on. At least the plates is going quick. Because the plates is 2 to 1, so... We can also make mark uh, 5. I oh, know we can't. We have iron, we have... S um, we need copper ingots. Ah. Don't have that yet. <clears throat> oh wow, this is taking longer than I expected. So let's just do that. Okay, let me go off camera quickly, make one because 50 is not going to be enough. 50 is generally not going to be enough. Okay, be right back. Okay, just finished back up okay but the um also the recording audio might be a little bit louder <laughs> and the mic was a bit f far away from my mouth a few minutes ago i didn't really notice it was pointing a little bit away so might be a bit better now yeah, just want to get, try and get up here we can start this again quickly. Okay, at least this is going quick. And you guys can see what we're doing and I show some of the prep. Yay! <laughs> I hope you guys like the prep parts. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now for the fun part. Not really fun, but not really bad. And I need cables. is trying to get this centered as best as possible. I just wish this <coughs> jetpack was quicker or faster or whatever you want to call it, but more efficient. Maybe that they can upgrade it or have a way to upgrade it. <clears throat> Maybe use this Mercer Spheres or a Sam Ors or something like that. Okay, that one is already done. Okay, I don't think I'm making it. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, we just want to get the idea right and we need power lines underneath as well. So maybe we do care. Um, what's the cost of power lines? Too much for me at this point. Let me quickly run and go grab some more. I'll bring you guys right back. Okay guys, it's finally starting to get daylight out again. And I'm quickly busy connecting all the power required machines so at least you can see one or two of them okay and that is this one I like the pattern it does the uniformity of it I love it 
Usually, I think that's a word I'm usually looking for when I say things are neat. Into uniform, the uniformity of it. Symmetricity, that's a word we learned in a, <laughs> a previous episode. Symmetricity, it was symmetricity, right? Not symmetricality. Yes, it was symmetricity. Of course, symmetricality sounds better for me. And I'm, I remember thinking that's actually the worst one, <laughs> the, uh, or the most incorrect one. It's actually strange for me that the cables goes through this machine without any issue. Almost hit that other machine. <laughs> I like the animations of some of these machines as well. Look at when they switch power on this one. <laughs> it's like it's unpacking itself or something. Okay. Look at that. I love it. Just looks awesome. Okay, so now from this one, I believe it was to this. So this is a bit strange, so I'll show you guys now. Come on. Oh wow, we're almost done with the cables again. Well, let's hope it will last. Because we still have a few to do. I promise you guys there's method in the madness. <laughs> for breaking down all the poles again, all the cables. Okay. Now we're going from you to here, from you to here. Okay, seems we're not getting to copper or coal in this episode, except if you guys want a long episode. Vote now to vote if we're going to have a long or short episode. Doom, ting, doom, doom. I'm just trying to <laughs> do a countdown type of. Um, don't know, clock, countdown clock type of thing. It was a show here. I actually, I think um, in the UK somewhere there's a show called Countdown. That's exactly the show I'm actually thinking about. But over here in my country, it was called A Word or Two. And I had something similar to what I'm thinking about. My. Um, what do you call it? Sound effects voice is not updated. <laughs> yeah, updated. As if. Oops, missed this one. Okay, now everything should have power, I believe. Everything should be yellow because there's no resources coming in. It's checking yellow. Yes, yellow that side. Yes. Okay, red that side. Why is it red? Oh, we haven't set a recipe. Okay. So this side will be pipes. So it sucks that we are only going to have that little beams, but we'll make a plan. We need to overdo it. 100 is not enough. Maybe we should annex two of those, make beams, 
and then duplicate it on top of each other and that way we'll have more pipes and much more beams even though we don't need as many beams but once we do need it ooh, I keep oh goodness why don't you stop me guys <laughs> I keep selecting pipes needs to be beam beams I'm talking about beams and then I selecting pipes oh goodness At least it's not a bad thing or a really big setback. It's a quick fix. And we're done. Okay, everything should be connected. Oh, this one's not connected. That's why you're still red. I was just wondering why the hell are you still red? I wonder why I didn't connect those. Okay, looks good. Connected, 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 connected. Okay. Well, now it's time to show you underneath. So that one is iron, this one is coal. So if we run down. I'm not connecting the iron yet because we still have that um, backlog of iron that we'll still have to use first. So what will happen is the iron will come in here, go in here and go to the top and split and the coal will come down bottom and stay at the bottom and go on the outside to the top. Okay, but we have a slight problem <laughs> these levels is not correct so we need to correct them quickly okay L luckily I did most of the um, planning so it's not a major issue Okay, so what will happen now is we'll I cut off the line over there as well because it needs to go on top because a coal is going to come from that side and then go in here at this level and go this way. So you might say what's what are we going to do here? And sorry about that. Just mute it. I forgot to mute my phone. Sorry. Ah. Okay. So basically, exactly what we did now. We'll just move it up one more block. So we'll have it like that. So, but first we need to clear the, this line and the white line. So luckily, that's easy. We just grab some aluminum. Okay. I th think that should be enough. Hundred, no, maybe not enough. Okay, once we have a copper ore of a copper ingots, we can start making. No, wait. Yeah, we need to make. This is a first tier resource. Then a first tier crafted. How did I reckon that again? I can show you guys there in a minute once we get back there. We just need to check if everything's cleared up. Yep, white is cleared up. That was a new sound. 
Oh man, this factory is taking so much time. I want to go exploring. I want to go blow stuff up with nobelisks. I want to see if we can blow up trees. And I have a slight suspicion we can blow up those poison veins. I'm going to try it. I want to try it. I need to try it. Okay, so that is done. This is done. Okay. So this is done. That is done. That is done. Okay. So you go to that side. Okay, you go. Okay, before I break you down, let's just put you there. Okay, then we can break you down and you down. Okay, no, we didn't need to break you down. I'm sorry, my bad. But we need to break you down. You can go there, you go this way. You go merge for me, please. And you go merge for me. Okay. Now this should be good. And you go back down there. Now, okay, you should turn around. You're facing the wrong way because you're coming in and you should be going out. Okay, so let's see. Top goes, to stays to top, and it splits off at the front, the bottom. This looks good. Okay, yes, this one is going the opposite direction, which is perfect. That side is already going out. Great. That means everything's working the way it's meant to. And on this line, we are going to bring in the coal. Great, 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 great. Okay, so now we should get to that side. And through the power of teleportation, we are on the other side. <laughs> again, so again, we are going to have two lines coming up. One will be Goal and one will be um, what's that? Uh, limestone. That's that one. Just thinking, where's limestone? Yep. Okay, so we might actually just go down. With both, but in any case, let's do what we are good at. Let's go down. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start the walkway so that we can start the Steer it down. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, we do not have enough of that. Maybe we should do a, like a mini. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call the thing that we do that's fast again? Montage, yes, maybe we should do a mini montage. Let me go grab more concrete and I'll meet you guys back down there and we'll start the montage. Okay, guys, so from here on out, we are going to do a quick montage just so that up until we 
down at level that we I think we're supposed to be to get the gold from that plant on the other side and we will join from the side so let's say we do tap from coal from that side we will just join on the sides of this so without further ado let's start the montage So either nothing happened and I'm just imagining things or I just lost a few minutes of my recording. So if it's a letter that I lost part of my recording and not a few minutes, quite a long few minutes, I try to do a montage part. We'll see in post if if I lost the video. What I did is I made a ramp from those between those two wings to come down to a copper or not a copper of a coal sorry and I just put a splitter down up there between those three miners or the yes there's a one two three miners and a, that's a fourth so between those three and this one I put a splitter so it still supplies this um, coal generators up here and then it splits off to here and then we will just take it up and from there on out, we are going to bring it down and provide coal for these guys. So we'll put a, another walkway directly underneath this one. I haven't said this in the part that I think we lost. So this is new information. And then the coal will go up. Getting to the storage containers, we'll have a few industrial containers. So big ones, large ones. And... Um, store it there and then bring it back to this ones and take it to where we need need it for the steel and whatever else we need it for so let's quickly finish this as i said i'm not sure if i lost the part where i did the montage so just for in case sake uh, what i did i came down with a quite a steep angle and then i leveled out somewhat so that we can grab that ledge we just needed to come underneath this massive ramp okay so we just want to this is a low one we want to have the ramp okay let's see okay i know i in a previous episode i explained that everything is to do with tempo but this ramp sometimes the snap point is not perfect but you can get a tempo like this going start off slow as I mentioned in the previous part and then once you get your tempo you press shift and you run and you keep your tempo up and if you time everything correctly you can have a proper quick building and there it is so it will same as all the wings it will come now in okay so that's actually on the wrong level so it will come in um, 
Let's just put him in the middle. Let's see quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no, this is also an even number. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Two, three, four, five, six. So that means there's going to be a double line down the middle. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing with limestone, but just off cam. And we'll bring the storage up and running. And then in the next episode, we will route it to where it's needed. And from there on out, we will continue. Okay, so we put you there, there. Put you there. You there. You there. There. Come on, snap to a proper spot, thank you. Okay. Break these two. Okay. storage container okay so this will work slightly different what we'll have we'll have the industrial container right there and then it will be split into containers or the different ones so let's see quickly So if we put you there, okay, we can have you in the middle. Oh, great, we need cables. I didn't think I have enough cables. Okay, so what will happen is I'm going to go and get some wires. That's what's going to happen. Give me a sec, we'll be right back. Okay, let's try this out for a second time. Okay, so we have a splitter and another splitter that we'll just put like that, and then this one will go outward. I believe that should be sufficient. Okay, so what happens now is we take a Mark IV, bring you in, take you out, take you out. Actually, this must be Mark V. Let's make this a Mark V. Oh, of course. Okay, I don't think we'll ever need more than a Mark IV on this one. Maybe on the first one. Okay, so now we use this one. So as I say, the limestone will be exactly the same. It's just the route, that's the route that is going to be different. And so I will bring you guys back in the next one, showing you exactly how both looks. Okay. So basically this is going to be our coal storage 
and this will root wherever it is needed i don't think we'll need this much but like with the one that we're going to need for the power we'll probably just use this side one maybe even use this one come here um do you like this okay now nope five one two three four five one two three four five Okay, and then this from here on out, we can double stack them. So this one will go there. This one will go upward. Okay. That did not work out as planned. Maybe this will work now. There we go. And this one will go down up until the point. I'll get to <laughs> up until the point now. Um, just need to go down. Down and down and down we go. Okay, so I reckon this will be quite a long episode, about 40 minutes. I believe depending on how long the um, the montage turns out to be. I'm not sure how long that will be. But it might be a while. <laughs> okay. So we'll have you. One to three and then four okay so what we'll have is basically this so that will come down and will level out here while the bottom one goes up at the underneath the one and this one will continue oops place you on the wrong block oh I broke down the wrong block oh well doesn't matter come out here and just link up with this or maybe what we can do again from this point put a lift down that could work and, and the lift will come down here somewhere so just to explain what we're going to do So it will come in to here. The lift will basically go from here and turn into that one over there. And it will push all these. I think this will work perfectly. And yeah, and then everything is neat. We don't add, need this ramp. Oh no. And there's a slug. Hello, slug. Okay, so let me quickly get to my ending spot and we can end this episode. And realize that we didn't really do what we set out to do. But there's so much planning and pulling involved, it takes forever. So please. 
bear with me guys we will get to the end of it before too long okay that's the one we did okay so i'm not gonna go all the way up there and come back so let's just take the express we'll see you guys at the other side okay <laughs> we're back here i almost overshot this completely <laughs> um what when i came there i started flying so you get the height and when i came here i as i said almost overshot it anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this that episode or this episode i hope you guys also enjoyed the small little bit of montage i did just to try and get the building quicker out of the way um there's still a lot more building to do but once we've got all the resources rooted there we will have all the necessary materials to build the actual factory on top so these this is just the basement and sub 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 basements of the factory the main factory still needs to come like that part so that still is planned in the future sorry for taking so long guys but i'm really trying to plan out everything and make sure everything stays neat and just looks proper and what was that word that i used earlier now I can't remember it again. Yee. Anyway, so once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a like, guys. And if you haven't else already, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out tremendously. And check out the links in the description. There's links to my public Discord, public ARC server, and all my other social media. Feel free to join any one of them or follow me on any one of them. Or just come have a chat on Discord, however, whichever one you guys want to. And with that... I'm going to greet you guys in this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers!